Good evening everyone, I uh, hope you're well. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Um, so, uh, some of you may or may not be aware, but I was diagnosed with cancer, in uh, testicular cancer, back in December last year. Now, um, the thing that is, I've now been clear for nine months. Yesterday I went and saw my oncologist and he was like, Ricky, it's all good. And I was like, fantastic. Now, the, the thing here is that I was lucky enough to be working on my business and putting the right people in the business and around the business. So the only regret I actually had when I was diagnosed was, I need to have some more holidays. I need to have some more holidays with my family. You know, I need some more time. But, but I do spend a lot of time with my family. And if you're working in your business and not on your business, if you was to get a, a, a shock like that, it would be very difficult to deal with. Now, for me, 90% of recovery is positive mental attitude. You know, you go into dark places, you do all these things, but 90% of recovery is positive mental attitude. And that's a big thing. So all I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm just expediting my goals. So start setting goals. Set, set your goals. Bring them forward. Think bigger. You know, I'm growing the business. I've got a great team. I'm doing lots of really cool things. I have a beautiful wife, beautiful family, lots of friends. And, 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 and to be honest, I can't really complain. But... But, but for me, what, what I would say is that success doesn't have to be about money. It's not about money. It's what are you doing? It's the work-life balance. I wrote an article on work-life balance, which is actually on my LinkedIn, and I might put the link just below this post, actually. I, in fact, I will. I'll put the link again below this post for you to read. And it's the importance of striking a work-life balance and, and, and how that's important, because that's helped me overcome cancer. Um, and I know there's a lot of people going through cancer or going through lots of different things in their lives. And, and all I would say is keep positive, keep a positive mental attitude, change it up a little bit, you know, change, change things up, do what you love doing. Life's short and no one put on their tombstone, I wish I worked an extra hour. And that's really important. And I say that a lot to myself. I've, I've been saying that for years. And, and so for, for me, I just thought I'd share that with you that, you know, I've been free from cancer for nine months, which is pretty epic. Um, if any of you are going through anything like that or anything similar, then, you know, keep positive. It's really important to keep positive and um, and also, guys, you know, ch ch check yourselves. Make sure it's cool. Because, 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 to be honest, I, I was misdiagnosed for nine months, and I know a lot of people who have, have um, had cancer and have smashed it and are doing so well now. Like big shout out to Ben. Ben, you're an epic, dude. And uh, you know, loads of. But anyway, what I'm saying is, don't work in your business. Work on your business. Get the work-life balance. Invest in your family, and then, then, then grow your business. Then do those things. I've been an architect of time for ten years. I've had the business seventeen years. I'll tell my whole story another time. But if I hadn't put the things in place that I did ten years ago, it would have been a very different story, and it would have been a lot harder. So, so, so think about what you're doing. Start setting your goals. Make your goals bigger. You know, make your goals much bigger. Wow, off the chart bigger. When I when I see oncology and see Dr. Faust, literally five minutes before I go in, I feel like someone's standing on my chest and I'm thinking, oh my God, and it's stress. And the moment he goes, Ricky, it's all clear, I'm like being injected with, with rocket fuel. I'm wanting to take on the world and smash everything. And every three months I go and see oncology. But the, the thing for me is, is I'm not going to let cancer or anything else defeat me because I've got too much to do. I've got too many things to achieve and so much I want to do. So don't talk about stuff. Make it happen, yeah? Anyway, have an awesome evening all. I just thought I'd share that with you all and uh, I'll tell the full story later. But but think about what you're doing. Lose the £10 jobs, the £100 jobs. You know, Really think about what you want in life and, and make it happen. So have an awesome evening and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.